the journey to becoming skilled. This is a, a pretty fascinating one. Right? We're we have everything at our fingertips nowadays. Pretty much all of us have cell phones that we're internet access. But we like in school, we tend to get a lot of information dumped into our heads, and then boom, it just it's gone after the exam, and we have just almost zero recall afterwards. I think this is mostly due because of the intent of how we learn. Like in school, our intent is to pass the exam, not to retain the knowledge past um, our schooling. So one of the things that I've really kind of found is if you go into learning that knowledge with the intent of teaching, you have a totally different mindset. The, all the information is gonna stick way better than it has ever sticked before. Um, and because I love teaching and because I love learning, I have found that just practicing that habit whenever I'm trying to absorb new material is so much better. And following the, the learn, the do, and then the teach, you, you learn it with the intent of teaching, then you go and actually practice it, and then you go and teach it to somebody else. That knowledge and that information is going to stick so much more. And the crazy thing is... There, it's you know we go through these several processes. First, we start off as totally unskilled, right? We have very little knowledge about it, and then as we start training, right, we're gonna get to the, that kind of awkward state. I mean, if you ever watched like a baby growing up, as they're beginning to walk, they're falling constantly because they're in that learning phase, and it's okay to stumble. And that's I think we need to forgive ourselves around that. Because after we get a little bit of training, we're just in that awkward phase. And then with the application of that new knowledge, then we become almost kind of frustrated because we have the knowledge and we're starting to build a little bit of skill, but that skill is failing us because we don't necessarily know enough to actually do whatever it is we're trying to learn. And then from that, uh, that awkwardness and that frustration, then we add the application of focused effort and time, and then that's when we can truly get to that skilled and eventually mastery of whatever it is that we're trying to learn. And then if we can find um, a coach, either in person or a distant mentor, uh, we can really shrink that time down because they already have the experience. So then they can tell us all of their wisdom, all the pitfalls that we can then jump over rather than having to slog through. Hope this helps. Um, the full blog article is linked in uh, the description. Love to hear you guys' feedback and on future articles from something you guys might want to learn about. See you guys later.